Meet Katrina Sheely. Katrina Sheely is a state legislator in the great state of South Carolina. She's a Republican state senator from the Lexington area. And even though she's only been in the state Senate for a few years, she has earned sort of an odd distinction. This is the list of every member of the South Carolina State Senate. You may notice something going on here. Thomas, Alexander, Carl, Sean, Lee, Kevin, Paul, George, Raymond, Creighton, Tom, they're, they're all men. They're all men, except for Katrina Sheely. There are 46 members of the South Carolina State Senate, and she is the only woman. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what about Nikki Setzler right above, right, right above her? Right, it turns out Nikki's a guy. Uh, there's a Nikki who's the governor of South Carolina. She is a woman. In this case, Nikki, the state senator, is a dude. So, yes, Katrina Sheely is it. She's the only woman in the whole South Carolina state senate. She has even facetiously named herself the chair of the South Carolina Senate Women's Caucus. She's the whole caucus, so of course she gets to run it. And all votes are unanimous. South Carolina's one-woman senator, Katrina Sheely, found herself in the middle of a local firestorm this week, when, uh, this past week, when one of her fellow Republican senators, the guy you see on the right here, uh, he made comments to her and about her that made news. See? South Carolina senator, women are a lesser cut of meat. This Republican state senator said to his only female colleague that women, like, for example, her, are a lesser cut of meat. That's nice. Katrina Sheely told the local press that the comments went too far, that women deserve respect. And then she went on the Senate floor in South Carolina and she made like a superhero. To the women and young ladies in this chamber today and all of those who may be listening, you will experience roadblocks and challenges. Don't be discouraged and don't give up. And don't you dare let anyone tell you that you are less than what you are. So yeah. The guy who called her a lesser cut of meat, he apologized. And because he's classy, he said he was also sorry that she chose to be offended and make such a big deal out of all this. And maybe the lesson in all of this is that South Carolina should maybe have more than one female state senator out of 46. Uh, not only because it might cut down on the you know, lesser cuts of meat jokes, but also because it turns out women make better legislators. Don't take it from me. This is a website called Quorum, which is run by a pair of Harvard students. They basically crunch all sorts of data about Congress, votes, bills, floor speeches. They, cr they crunch all that data about legislators' legislative activity, and they come out with reports about what they find. And what they have found this time has to do with the women of the United States Senate. There are currently 20 women in the Senate. That number has varied a little bit over the years, but this data crunching website went back and looked at Senate productivity over the last seven years. And they found, to their surprise, that the women of the Senate are, in quantitative terms, just better at their jobs. In terms of the sheer number of bills introduced in the Senate, the women on average were more productive. They introduced more bills on average than the men did. Of those bills introduced, women senators had a greater percentage of their bills passed out of committee. Of those bills passed out of committee, they also had a greater percentage of those bills enacted into law. So just in terms of turning bills into law, women over the last seven years have done it better than men in Washington. Women, according to the data, are also better at cutting bipartisan deals. The average female senator co-sponsored 171 bills with a member of the opposite party, which is a much higher number than the average number for men. And oh, by the way, women are also better at convincing their fellow senators to co-sponsor their bills as well. And, you know, you often hear this from women in the Senate. You often hear women in the Senate say, you know, if there were only more of us around, something might actually get done around here. That appears quantitatively to now be provably true. Lesser cut of meat or not.